Republicans and Democrats. We have a fight between Washington and the rest of America. Yep. And that's that's what I worry about in this upcoming election, especially with the, all of the changes that are happening with mail-in voting and everything. I just want to thank you so much for coming on today. And I want to note before you leave that um, I hope people who are independents take a look at this exchange and they and they watch us and they can see a major change has happened over the last five, six years. And seeing a party where people like us, people like you, you and us, um, I don't think we are the visual that people used to have about what a Republican looks like, sounds like, or is like, or what their background is. But this is exactly who we are. And um, this party, our tent has gotten a lot larger. And I hope people um, can look at that and see what a great thing that is. So um, as you leave and sign off here, do you have any message for people to get out the vote? Yeah, look, I, I think... Um... What I would encourage people to do is to to really understand that Donald Trump is the outsider. The first time that he went to Washington, D.C. to stay the night was for the week of his inauguration. He's truly an outsider. He doesn't play by the rules. And so the system of Washington, the insiders, the people that have been there for 40 plus years, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Joe Biden, all of those insiders who, who literally love the system because it's a secret protective system, what did they do when they had you know, these 15 plus Democrats, uh, new generation Democrats, all sorts of different people, uh, some outsiders trying to get the nomination? What did they do? They rejected all of them and they went for the ultimate insider because they've had a taste of what it's like with Donald Trump, the outsider, and his team, the outsider who think differently, who don't play by their rules. They are in a fight for their life. They went back and pulled the guy out of retirement who they can trust and they know because he plays by their rules. There is no secret for them on how Joe Biden will play. He will play by their rules. It's incredibly important. If you don't like President Trump's style, it's incredibly important to understand his style is working because you need a bull in the China shop to tear down the walls of Washington, DC. You can't have someone who is well-behaved and playing by their rules. They wanna control Republicans. They wanna control the people who, who come from the outside and Donald Trump is not controllable in their eyes. We need an outsider. If you ever want to reform a place, get the guy that won't play by the rules and who doesn't care what they say. And part of their system is not just politicians, it's the media. He's fighting against them as well. Yep. I mean, we, we could have you on probably for like three hours. So thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you so um, much. I think bull in a China shop, by the way, is the perfect saying for President Trump because China is essentially trying to make the whole world its shop. And, um, you know, the Trump and his Trump and his administration are essentially the bull that is making sure that doesn't happen. He's the great um, disruptor. The great disruptor. Mm -hmm. So exactly. thank you so much, Rick. We have a million more questions. I'm going to beg you to come back for those questions. But sure. um, thank you so much. Thank really appreciate so much. it. Thank you both. Great, great show. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. All right, guys. Thank you for watching today. Um, we will be back soon with another episode. We have Don Jr. coming on soon. Yes, Donald Trump Jr. And we will probably dive into some of the same stuff. So thank you, guys. Really appreciate you guys watching today. Thank you, Rick. Thanks, Rick. See ya. All right, guys. Have a good day. We'll talk to you soon.